of nine. I just got kicked out of here. These guys got kicked out, and they're like, no, no, we're just leaving. <laughs> we're not, we didn't get kicked out. We just want to go. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you were saying, Nasty Al, that about half the people at the show, there was a lot of people there, 180, 200 people, uh, half the people left. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the, within the first few minutes, uh, I, definitely when the, the when the, the C word and, you know, when he called them bitches, that place emptied out so quick. All right. Now, so, Al, do you feel? I forgot to ask you this last night. I thought of it after, but do you feel yeah. if there was a third comic on the bill that possibly some of those people would have stuck around, or would he have, would uh, he have driven uh, uh, even them away? Well, I'd have felt bad for a third comic that night because he would have just walked up to a, a nuclear bomb. I mean, there was no cleaning up or fixing the situation. People were pissed. So within the first few minutes, he turned the gun on the audience, and they just started leaving. That's what, yes, that's... absolutely. Within okay. within the first three minutes, he had honed in on this table full of uh, you know pretty girls and those military guys, and <laughs> he just started. You know, I sent you see all the tapes, and I sent you some to Carl. That uh, you know, he just attacked him, and hmm. that was it. Yeah. Now, the thing about uh, Chad is that on Saturday, when we were wrapping up the show Saturday, who are these podcasts? It was around five p.m. And people in our Discord chat were like, oh, Chad's streaming right now from a hotel room. So I pulled that up and watched it for a minute. And he's throwing chairs around. He's all fired up. He's all pissed off. And he's got a show later that night. So it's like, oh, what's going on right now? He seems like he's not in a great mood. People are <laughs> speculating that maybe he was drinking a little bit. I don't know if that's true or not. Nasty L, do you think he was drinking a little bit? Uh, he wasn't wasted. He wasn't like his last show, um, but he'd obviously had a few drinks. Okay. But it's, when I was watching that show, uh, and and I had a free night. I was bored. I had nothing to do. And when I watched that show, and the chair flew, I just got in my car and drove. I I, I knew this <laughs> yes, was going to be yeah. a job. Right? Yeah. I was thinking yeah. the same thing. I'm like, I want to see what's going to happen at the comedy show tonight because right. this guy is not preparing himself for success in any single way. He goes in there hot. He's ready to fight everyone, and he goes in there. And this is this is hilarious. He's a fucking dumb bitch. Good night. Leave. Exit left. Stage left. Wow. Fair enough. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. It got weird, didn't it? I'll take it to a weird place. I don't give a shit. I have no soul. You guys need to go. You need to shut up. This is not for you. This is not for you. So you can see Hello? Buddy oh. in the front. That was the guy. Uh, That's right. That came on your show yesterday, Cardiff. Yeah, that was the guy that was getting up with all the women. Yes. Big, bearded, bald, military-looking guy that... Yes. Explains why Chad may have got a few black eyes in his life. <laughs> and by the way, that night he had a mohawk, that a long mohawk that was pulled into a ponytail. So he was the most menacing guy in the entire place. I mean, this guy was tatted up. I, I, I just couldn't believe he focused on them. Now, I want to point something out because Vinny and I were talking about this this morning when we did the our creep off bonus episode. And Vinny had already watched this. I hadn't watched your show yet, Cardiff. I, I'm caught up now. But mm. I agree with what Vinny was saying. This guy is not a good participant at stand-up shows. He was explaining that he likes to go to the show, sit in the front, mix it up with the comics. He goes, yeah, the first comic was pretty good. I, I only heckled him a couple of times. I'm like, oh, you're not doing this right, buddy. You're, you're supposed to sit there and laugh or, or don't. But... You're not part of the show. Right. Let the comics do their fucking act. So this guy already has the wrong idea of how comedy works. He's like, we go to this club all the time. Yeah. And I, I should mention this. This club, they're not promoting Chad Zumach, even though he's the headliner. This club is like a multi-purpose right. facility. After this, there's like hip-hop night, and they have dancing and stuff. Oh, God. So, yeah. yeah so it's like they're just Wait, promoting. what did the sign outside say, uh, Al? Oh, it said uh, comedy tonight. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a sandwich. <laughs> It was a sandwich board that was dirty. Like, they put it out every, <laughs> you know, it was bad. So, basically, Chad's doing this this gig with a built-in audience. People just show up. It's a touristy area. All these people just come out like, oh, let's go to a comedy show. That'd be fun. Saturday night, let's go. And then afterwards, we can sing karaoke next door. There's all these different things you can do. So, Chad's up there. And I realize that in comedy, it's not as easy to win over a crowd. 
but he's going about it the exact wrong way. Going up there, calling people and trying to do crowd work to start the, the <laughs> thing off. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> yeah. So, Al, you pointed out, like, did he even get into his material, or was he just doing crowd work and just flailing the whole time? Well, I'm pretty sure I, I, if I didn't post it, I sent to you or Cardiff the big opening of the show where he just kind of rambled a little bit. And once those girls started giggling and he called them the real housewives of Fort Walton beach. Yeah. And then they started going back at him. It just went downhill. I, three minutes, four minutes. He engaged the audience immediately. Right. Yeah. Immediately. Not his forte. Well, plus he's fired would, up to I, begin with. He's already in a bad mood and he's, right. he's been yelling Correct. at the internet for the last hours. And he's like, all right, who else wants to fucking go? We're like, and, right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and for more context, both my guests confirmed last night the opening act was fantastic. Yes. And the crowd was into it. So the crowd was warm. It wasn't a hmm. shitty audience. Absolute, it wasn't a hostile absolutely. crowd before Chad got on stage. Now, Cardiff, I want to ask you about this because you tweeted this out today and this is probably criminal <laughs> what i yeah. did no not what you did oh, oh, oh. <laughs> really i didn't realize <laughs> so you got an email from one chad zubach that said I, I, I we haven't we haven't answered the poll yet but okay go on. I, I think i know it says <laughs> take that video down or i'm going to release all your information name job address wife etc today at 3 p.m i tried to warn mm -hmm. you before so mm -hmm. basically Chad has threatened you, blackmailed you, uh, yes. extortion. I don't know wow. what's the word for this. He, he alluded to it before, but now he's he's put it in writing <laughs> for me very clearly. <laughs> yeah, and then Cardiff makes yeah. it into a game. He goes, let's play a game. Who do you think sent me a blackmail email this morning to take my interview from last night? Take down my interview from last night. Was it MLC Podcast? Who are these podcasts? OP Radio? Merge? Anthony? Maybe Chad Zummick? <laughs> And then B. you link to your video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> Wrong again. So is is he that dumb that he thinks he can threaten people in writing and not realize that he's breaking the law when he does that? The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. He was he immediately started emailing me when we started the show last night. Oh no shit. So I got yeah, I got I got uh not well not immediately. I think a couple times. I did I did end up sending him the link and uh did not did not come. I invited him well before. I said, I'm going to have, you know, some audience members. If you want to come on and talk to them. Again, I thought it would be a nice, fun debate. <laughs> Comedian gets to debate his audience. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't people no, get my refused. humor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, All he right. refused and he decided to give me uh, an ultimatum in writing, which All is right. blackmail. Yes. So check out this clip from the show. And when I say observe and report, I don't necessarily mean you want to be filming the person and, and pulling clips, but it is fun. It helps. Since someone did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Since someone did, we're going to play it. Now, I do, it, there is something about this. Chad deserves everything bad that's happening to him. Don't get yes. me wrong. But this is, he's in a tough spot now because every time he does a show, there's going to be people showing up just to hope that he fails miserably. No. And so, no, I'm not defending the act, but. Let's not just last week he was playing Melton sets. Right. Yeah, just right. before that he was playing Ray DeVito's sets, Stevie Lou's sets, count everyone from Pottstown and Dabblecon he was playing those sets. Yep. He but played my set. He played Anthony's set and my set from yeah, Dabblecon. Mm -hmm. So this that's, this whole that's why I didn't feel bad doing it. I, right. You know, at all. I didn't feel bad. And I didn't expose his comedy. This there was nothing about his he can't say I You're was not working a bits out. Yeah, I'm not. A, he can't say I was working bits out. I mean, it was it, as soon as it's, he walked on stage, I could see it was going downhill. <laughs> That's yes. all it took. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, again, Chad does everything he complains about. So when he got some copyright strikes on his channel, all of a sudden he's crying about it. But this is a guy who's been telling people to report on people's channels all the time. Yeah. So he loves playing right. in the mud. When it's working against other people, then when people do it to him, yeah, you got me muddy. <laughs> right. All right, so check this out. We're in the panhandle. We're in the central time zone. Nobody cares about the central time zone. Nobody. You know, you know what that is? What? Kumia country. Kumia country? I hate that you know this. <laughs> I hate you guys know each other. I, I hate know. this is happening right now. You guys are a small portion of the internet. Nobody cares about Kumia country at this point. You guys are having a moment. Let me stop the moment and get back to the fucking show. And we will talk Kumia country afterwards. Shook you up. It didn't shake. Do you think <laughs> so, it's, 
It's funny because when he's lying, he wants to make it seem like there's Anthony Cumia fans who want to beat him up yeah. randomly on the street or in yes. a bar or whatever, you know, nonsense. And then now that it's actually happening in real life, he's like, whoa, this isn't even a thing. People know about this? Like, yeah, they do. Chad. It's like it's a bigger affront to bring it up than it was to do it. Right. Yes. Isn't that yes. funny how that works? Yes. Yes. When it's my lie, it's all fun and games. But when you actually bring it up in my show, it's not It's, it's not amazing. Cool. No. Now, He's even ripping off the Ray DeVito broken laptop bit. <laughs> Why? What's that? What, did he break his laptop oh, he again? He hasn't streamed the last couple days. His laptop broke. <laughs> who, who even knows? <laughs> <laughs> who even knows what's going on? <laughs> so Always insane. steal from the best. <laughs> That's right. my act. So, Nassiel, thank you for going to the show. I just want to get uh, kind of some final observations or things that you picked up on from uh, Chad's sure. stand-up set. Well, uh, it did not disappoint. It might have been the best $10 I've ever spent. $10. <laughs> now, the beers were cheap, uh, but I just couldn't believe that the stars aligned for that night. And for him to do that YouTube show and just for it to work out and, and for him to, to really come through. So thank you, Chad. And hi, hi Chad. Hi, Chad's lawyer. <laughs> hi, Chad's lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of this one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, apparently he was complaining about how much money he made at the gig, too. That was part of his act. He's like, I'm only getting $300 for this. Oh, what? he screamed it out two or three times. Five, 50 minutes for 300 bucks. Now, but now he did inflate the ticket price on stage yes, by 1.5 times. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing the same ratio was used. So he might have got 100 bucks. Correct. But that's a weird thing to even complain about because you can either take the gig or don't take the gig. It's a full room. So they that's their obligation. We'll offer you $300 yeah. to do a 50 minutes of a comedy show. And we'll fill the room for you. Okay, you can either say yes or no to that. So the fact that he gets up there and complains about making three hundred bucks doesn't make any sense to me at all. What are you gonna do? He yeah. drove six. He drove six hours each way. Oh wow! And he yeah, also he, drove he also drove sixty way. people out of the room. Right. So I'm <laughs> sure the club was thrilled with that. Who are these podcasts? W A 